for electrical and electronics engineering related educational content you can visit this website link electrical-engineering.app the website link is available in the bio of this channel also you will get the website link in the video description in this video we will see a problem on superposition theorem question calculate the current through each branch using superposition theorem now here for this circuit we have to find the current through each branch solution first of all what we will do we will take this circuit now first of all let's assume this 20 volt voltage source and turn off all other sources so here step number one is to consider 20 volt voltage source and turn off all other sources now here if we turn off this current source it will be replaced by open circuit so let's replace this current source by open circuit now here we have to find these currents now let's say this current the direction of this current will be downward because the positive polarity here so let's say this current is current i1 first now this current is let's say this is current i prime 1 and this is let's say i prime 2 i double prime or i prime 2 let's say so this is the main current and these are the current which we have to find so now now what we will do we will find the value of i prime i1 prime by using current division rule so let's write here by using current division rule so by using current division rule this i1 prime is equal to this current i1 multiplied with now here opposite branch resistance now here opposite branch resistance is 10 plus 12 so here we can write 10 plus 12 divided by again same 10 plus 12 then plus this 8 ohm now again here we don't know the value of i1 so here we can find the value of i1 first so i1 will be equal to voltage divided by resistance voltage divided by resistance now here the value of voltage is 20 so 20 divided by resistance value will be total resistance now here the total resistance will be this 8 ohm is in parallel with this 10 plus 12 that is 22 so here we can write 8 into 22 divided by 8 plus 22 if we solve this what we get let's solve this in calculator Twenty divided by eight into twenty two divided by eight plus twenty two. It is seventy five by twenty two. So here we can write seventy five by twenty two ampere. Now we can put this value here. So it will be seventy five divided by 22 multiplied with now it will be 10 plus 12 divided by 10 plus 12 plus 8 so if we solve this in calculator it will be 75 by 22 multiplied with now this will be 10 plus 12 divided by 
10 plus 12 plus 8. Now it is equal to 2.5 2.5 ampere 2.5 ampere is the value of I1 prime. Now similarly we will find the value for I2 prime. So I2 prime will be equal to again here also we are using current division rule so we have to take this current I1 multiplied with opposite branch resistance and that is 8 ohm so it will be 8 divided by 8 plus now this will be 10 plus 12 so 10 plus 12 so this will be again the value of I1 will remain same that is 75 by 22 75 divided by 22 multiplied with 8 divided by 8 plus 10 plus 12 so it will be 75 divided by 22 multiplied with 8 divided by 8 plus 10 plus 12 so it is 10 by 11 10 by 11 ampere or we can say I2 prime or we can say that this is I2 prime is equal to 0 0.90 ampere now let's see the direction now here we can see both the directions are downward so here also this is downward and here also this is downward Now next step is to find the current caused by this 3 ampere current source. So step number 2 is to consider consider 3 ampere current source and turn off all other sources. Turn off all other sources now when we turn off a uh, voltage source that time we have to replace it by short circuit that means that this will be short circuit now this will be short circuit that means this resistance value will be zero so again we can redraw this and we can remove this by short circuit and again we can remove this too. So let's remove this from here. Now this is very simple and we can easily find the value of this current. Let's say this current is current I2 prime and this is current I1 prime. This is I1 prime and this is this is also I2 this is I, I2 prime and this will be I2 double prime let's say because here we are considering this as I2 prime and this as I1 prime so let's find the value of this current I2 prime again by using by using current division rule so by using current division rule we can find the value of i2 prime so here the value for i2 prime will be this current that is 3 ampere multiplied with opposite branch resistance that is 10 divided by 10 plus 12 so i2 Here there is slight mistake. We have to consider this as I1 double prime. I1 double prime and this is I2 double prime. Now this is correct. So this will be also I1 double prime. 
आई वन डबल प्राइम वैल्यू नाउ दिस विल बी आई वन डबल प्राइम नाउ लेट सॉल्व दिस इन कैलकुलेटर सो इट विल बी थ्री मल्टीप्लाइड विथ टेन डिवाइडेड बाय टेन प्लस ट्वेल्व सो इट विल बी फिफ्टीन बाय फिफ्टीन बाय एलेवन एम और वी कैन से आई डबल प्राइम इज इक्वल टू वन पॉइंट थ्री सिक्स एम पी आर एंड द डायरेक्शन ऑफ करंट इज डाउनवर्ड सो द डायरेक्शन ऑफ करंट इज डाउनवर्ड लाइक दिस नाउ सिमिलरली वी विल फाइंड द वैल्यू फॉर आई टू डबल प्राइम सो आई टू डबल प्राइम विल बी इक्वल टू अगेन वी हैव टू टेक दिस करंट थ्री एम पी आर मल्टीप्लाइड विथ अपोजिट ब्रांच रेजिस्टेंस विच इज ट्वेल्व सो ट्वेल्व डिवाइडेड बाय ट्वेल्व प्लस ट्वेल्व प्लस टेन सो इफ वी सॉल्व दिस वी गेट द वैल्यू ऑफ आई टू डबल प्राइम एंड दैट इज थ्री मल्टीप्लाइड विथ ट्वेल्व डिवाइडेड बाय ट्वेल्व प्लस टेन सो इट इज एटीन बाय एलेवन एटीन डिवाइडेड बाय एलेवन एम पी आर आई टू डबल प्राइम इज इक्वल टू दिस इज वन पॉइंट सिक्स थ्री एम पी आर नाउ नेक्स्ट वी हैव टू फाइंड द करंट थ्रू दिस एट ओम रेजिस्टेंस सो हेयर वी कैन राइट I एट ओम इज इक्वल टू नाउ हेयर वी कैन सी फ्रॉम स्टेप नंबर वन द करंट थ्रू दिस एट ओम इज डाउनवर्ड एंड दैट इज आई वन प्राइम सो हेयर वी कैन राइट इट विल बी आई वन प्राइम एंड द डायरेक्शन ऑफ दिस करंट इज डाउनवर्ड एंड इन दिस प्रॉब्लम और इन दिस स्टेप देर इज नो करंट so we can write i1 prime as it is so i1 prime value is here we can see the value of i1 prime is 2.5 ampere and it is downward so it will be 2.5 ampere and the direction of current will be downward so this is i8 ohm now next the current through this 10 ohm so here we can write i 10 ohm is equal to now let's see here from step number 1 we can say it is rightward and that is i 2 prime so i 2 प्राइम इज राइट वर्ड एंड देन इन स्टेप नंबर टू द डायरेक्शन ऑफ करंट इज लेफ्ट वर्ड आई टू डबल प्राइम सो हियर वी हैव टू सब्ट्रैक्ट इट आई टू डबल प्राइम इट इज इन इन दिस डायरेक्शन नाउ हेयर वी हैव टू टेक द बिगर वन फर्स्ट नाउ लेट सी आई टू प्राइम वैल्यू the i2 i2 prime value is so i2 prime value is 0.90 so it is 0.90 and here the value for i2 double prime i2 double prime value is 1.1.63 so it is 1.63 Now here we have to put this as plus and this as minus because this is bigger one. So it will be plus here and minus here. So let's solve this. So it will be minus zero point nine zero, then plus one point six three. So it will be zero point seven three ampere, and the direction of this bigger one, and that is. Toward this direction, so this is the I ten ohm. So here, what we did, 
we have taken the current and uh, since the directions are opposite so we have to subtract them now we have to take the bigger one first that means we have to subtract from bigger one now here the bigger one is 1.63 and that is i to double prime so we have taken positive sign here and negative sign here so here also we are subtracting it should be like i to double prime minus i to prime so it will be like that but this is also correct you can solve it like this also so we got the answer for i 10 ohm now the final is the current through this 12 ohm the current through this 12 ohm resistance so it will be i 12 ohm so it will be now from first step we can say it is i2 prime downward i2 prime downward and from second step it is i1 double prime downward i1 double prime downward so now here we have to do addition because the direction of currents are same so i2 prime downward value is i2 prime downward value is 10 by 11 so let's put here 10 divided by 11 then plus i1 double prime value i1 double prime value is 15 by 11 15 divided by 11 so it will be i12 ohm now this will be 10 divided by 11 plus 15 divided by 11 so it is 2.27 ampere and the direction of current will be downward because it is in both the direction of currents are downward so it is also downward so this is how we can find the value of currents by using superposition theorem don't forget to check out this website link electrical-engineering.app it contains so many educational content related to electrical and electronics engineering and thanks for watching